All right, guys. Um, I did this live just because it's uh, something, an idea I came up with this week. Um, they may or may not be live in the future. It's not really about being live. It's more about having the information out there and being able to share links with folks and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump in and get started. Um, my name is Ryan Dunford. I'm one of the product developers uh, with Team Losi and um, typically help out with the eight scale stuff and uh, whatever else I can. As you can see behind me, my wall, I've got, <laughs> this is my home here. Uh, got the, this side, I guess right here would be old race vehicles. And then this is all uh, photo sample cars. So um, just kind of some fun history for me to have. But um, I'll try to do one of these each Thursday. If I miss a Thursday here or there, it's probably because something else is going on. Um, but uh, we'll just go ahead and get started here. Today we're going to talk about uh, probably the two biggest questions I get um, with the new 8X 2.0 and option parts um, is the A versus the B steering arm or Ackerman arm as we call them. Um, and I'm also going to talk about... Um, the standard versus the incline spindle. I'm going to try to keep all these between two and five minutes so that they don't take very long to watch. But um, the easiest thing is here's an A and here's a B arm, right? So the easiest way to tell the A arms, they're uh, what we call our hard anodized color. And the B arms, well, they're black. Um, the first thing I want to say is both of these arms work with either a standard spindle or an incline spindle. So it's not like you have to have the A for a standard or the B for a standard or vice versa for incline. Um, they work for both. They do different things. Um, one thing you can see between the 2.0 and 1.0 series, I'll put them the same way. You can see we definitely updated the arm to a little bit more beefy, and it also uses three millimeter screws now instead of two and a half. Uh, the reason I bring that up is um, the standard spindle which comes with the 2.0. It will fit on the 8XT as well. So um, if you've ever had a problem with the small screw, screws um, coming out or snapping on your Chuggy, this is a fix. The other fix is to just drill out this back hole and put a screw through and a nut on the bottom. That works great too. But if you happen to have these around, you can use this as well. Um, so let's go through the A versus the B arm. The A arm. Okay, again, hard anodized. This is our traditional arm. This is the steering hole that we've had on the 1.0 basically since time began. Um, the B arm is something we tested out, and in all fairness, it was just a test. Try it, see how we liked it, and the team guys liked it so much we came out with it. So do i know how much different they are no this one pushes the turnbuckle into the wheel a little bit more um, i don't recall the millimeters or which way they're different but the best way i can explain it is the b arm for me connects what i would call the beginning and the middle of the turn better to me the middle to end of the turn actually feels pretty similar to a to me um but it, it kind of some might call it, it numbs it out a little bit. It just seems to make it more consistent. Every time I try to hit a corner, the beginning to middle, I can hit better with A, which usually means I can come out of a corner better too. Um, so a lot of us that have tried both, um, on most of the US style tracks, we have run the B. Um, the Truggy, we tend to run the A still because we just want it to start rotating a little quicker initially, uh, which is what the A-arm will do. Um, and then some people, like a Barry, he'll use the B-arm with 17-degree blocks, but he likes the A-arm with 20-degree blocks a lot of the time so that he can kind of get in between a 17 and, and 20 feeling. Um, but that's kind of the difference between the A and B. Again, the biggest thing, they will work on both incline and standard. You don't need to wait to have the arm to run your incline stuff. So that's those. The other thing I want to talk about with the B arm is with the B arm, um, we tend to run an offset rod end. Um, 
The reason we do that is where the B-arm is and where it's located, it takes more uh, essentially endpoint. And not all radios go up to 130, 140. Uh, like a Samuel, I think they only go to 125. At least they used to. I don't know if they fixed that. Um, and when you put this on, it straightens the rod end at the end of the throw. And it makes it so essentially your endpoints can be less. Um, so um, it also provides extra wheel clearance because of the way you put it on. Like here's my car. And if you see the way that it's put on, let's see if I can get there. There you go. It's put on so the angle is forward. Um, and it just, again, it just... You don't have to do it, but we do it because it makes it so that you use less throw on the wheel. Um, this uh, rod end is from the SCTE 3.0 rod end pack. Uh, that's TLR 234067. Uh, the other thing, this B Ackerman arm, that is TLR 344055, in case you're looking for that. Um, so that's those. I think that's everything between those two. Okay. The other thing uh, then we're going to talk about real quick is going to be a standard versus an incline um, spindle. Okay. So again, just like everything else, we try to make them easy to tell. Uh, this one's got two ways. Um, one way is the color. Another one is it says 4L. This just says LH. So it's four degrees and the left side, um, but the standard one, the, our standard hard anodized color is standard. And what I mean by standard is the king pin is perpendicular to the axle shaft. Um, or in this case, it's also parallel to the bearings. Um, the incline, if you look at it, it looks like it's messed up. And that's because it is. <laughs> This line is at a four degree angle to the bearing or the drive shaft going through, right? Um, the standard one can be used in both our original V1 caster block or in the V2 caster block. The V2 caster block has adjusted um, camera link mounting points and it's actually a little bit lighter. Um, however, the incline one, is, you have to use the V2 or you have to do a bunch of dremeling to the V1. Um, and if you want to see that dremeling, it's in my original build video. But yeah, but I'm talking too long again, so I'm going to bust through this real quick. Sorry. Um, kind of introducing the series. So hopefully the, the future ones will be a little quicker. But standard versus incline. The biggest difference you're going to see going to incline um, is... Typically on uh, bumpy tracks, so as tracks tend to get bumpy or even off camber, uh, a lot of off camber turns we tend to run them. Um, it makes it like normally your kingpins this way, right? So when you're leaning into a turn, the pressure is going down. So when you're kind of going through and you're going through bumps, it's doing this number and it's not holding it in place. It's, it's bumping through. So as you're going through a turn and there's bumps, you kind of do this as you're going right you get out further an incline will tend to stay if your intended route let's say is like this an incline will tend to stay in that path through the bumps because the tire the pressure the tire the forces are actually pushing into the corner of the bumps so it tends to help it uh, through bumpy turns uh, on the buggy we pretty much have always run incline now since we came up with them. It's pretty rare when we'll switch back um, to a standard hub. Um, it's not like we feel like we have more steering or less steering with incline. We just we feel like we have a little bit more wheel input that we can put in when we're going through bumps. Um, but yeah, so that's the biggest difference between those two. The incline block, um, that is uh, TLR 344052 is the part number for that. And then the V2 carriers are in stock now and come in 17.5 and 20 degrees. And 17.5 is TLR 344051. And 20 degrees is TLR 344056. Uh, the other thing to remember when you're running a standard block, um, 
You don't want to be any further out than uh, center pills, A and B. If you're running the incline, we've had people have success a half out and even one out with the incline because the way the incline works, it actually narrows up a little bit because you're leaning it in and it brings it in about 0.9-ish millimeters um, the way we have it set up. So um, like I run, I run mine one out. Uh, but sometimes I'll run some pin toe out and whatnot on my front end. Um, but yeah, just some, some things to remember. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off because these are meant to be short and I already went over 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, it just kind of goes so fast. So um, if you guys have any questions or you have any suggestions uh, for future things you'd want to see as far as quick little videos, throw them in the comments anywhere. Um, or message me. I'd be happy to uh, make little videos out there of just about anything anybody wants to talk about. So anyway, I hope everybody has a good day and uh, take care.